Dear friends, I hope all of you are well. I have come again today to discuss past indefinite tense in English. Before this time, I have already discussed present tense and past indefinite tense in Bengali and four parts of present tense in English. Please see the link given in description box or click on i button. Those who are new in my YouTube channel, please subscribe and those who are already in my channel, for all of you, my request, please send, like, comment and send the video to your friend circle. Let's come to the point. Past indefinite or simple past tense. First of all, the question may arise. What sentences are to be called past indefinite tense? If the action of the verb has already been completed in past time or the verb happened in past time or there is the indication of time, date, year in past time, those sentences can be classified into past indefinite tense and when we judge these sentences can be translated into past indefinite tense then the question may arise how to form past indefinite tense i mean the rules to be followed to translate into past indefinite tense very easy see first of all write subject director past form of heart Subject and first form of verb. To clear it, I am taking some examples. Please see. I have taken four sentences. In first sentence, I was well. Second sentence, you had a dog. Third, he could do the sum. And in fourth sentence, they went to school yesterday. See, in first sentence, subject is I and second sentence subject is you and in third sub sentence subject is he and in fourth sentence subject is they and thereafter I have written the past form of verb I mean was is the past form of the verb am is a had is the past form of had as verb and could is the past form of can verb and went is the past form of go verb. So, what I told you that first of all, write subject thereafter the past form of verb that I have written, and in first sentence, see there is a indication of past time, I mean yesterday. So, they went to school yesterday, it is also. Uh, indication of past time. Now, I want to discuss about negative sentence in past indefinite tense. What is negative sentence? <clears throat> if there is negative sense, I mean the word of no, neither, not, etc. Those sentences are called negative sentence and to form negative sentence in this sentence, how to form? To discuss it, I am taking some examples. Please follow. <clears throat> See, I have written four sentences. In first sentence, I was not well. So, the negative sense, not, you had not a dog. The negative word, not, he could not do the sum. The negative word, not. And added post sentence I have written they did not go to school yesterday. Here is a new word did. The rule is to form negative sentence in past indefinite tense. If there is the use of we have, make, and etc., no problem. 
they will be used as is well i mean as before but if there is no we have make an another verb at that time we should take the help of two verb as it is past indefinite tense that's why do became did and when did is used at the time the main verb becomes in present form that's why go has been used clear so when did is used the main verb should be changed into present form i hope you have understood up to here now the second step i want to discuss about how to <coughs> sorry how to form interrogative sentence in past indefinite tense what is called interrogative sentence to ask question the sentences we use they are called interrogative sentence and all of you i hope know clearly that to form interrogative sentence the verb comes before the subject there is a subject then the main verb or other words that are required to be used in that sentence to discuss it i am taking some examples please follow to form interrogative sentence i have taken four sentences in first sentence i have written was i well in second sentence had you a dog in third sentence would he do the sum and in fourth sentence did they go to school yesterday see was the verb has come before the subject i had the verb have verb has come before the subject you and who the verb has come before the subject he and did the verb auxiliary verb has come before the subject they and see there is another verb go so it is said that if there is the use of be have can etc verb they come before the subject what i have already written here and if there is no we have make an verb etc there is another verb at the time to form interrogative sentence in past indefinite tense take the help of do verb as it is past indefinite tense do becomes did and when did is used the main verb should be changed into present form that's why i have written go clear i hope you have understood up to here and i want to discuss another step that is called habitual past please see some examples here habitual past i have taken two sentences in past sentence i have written my father would walk every morning and it is my father walked in past time it was his habit at present he is not walking that's why it is called habitual past and when we see habitual past at that time would the verb has been used and when would is used the main verb becomes in present form i mean walk clear and in second sentence i have written the boys of this village used to play football in this ground there also it is said that boys of this village played football in the ground in past time it was their habit and at present they are not walk in play so it is also a past habit and that's why 
when first habit is to be used the verb used to is to to be used and when is to be used the main verb becomes present form i mean play main verb so to translate habitual past would or used to to be used and when would or used to be used main verb becomes in present form i hope all of you have clearly understood past indefinite or simple past tense if there is any difficulty or you have any question you can send them through comment box i shall try to answer them and once again i request you please subscribe send like comment and share the video god bless you thank you for watching my